this video is about a new forum that I created. It's special in certain respects, but I don't know if you're going to want to use it. I just feel like I ought to do it. It's called Frank Forum. As you can see, the, the link will be in the video description and is here. Brainout.net Frank Forum. Frank is for frankness, see, where frankness is the forum. That's the signature special thing about this forum. Okay, it is not going to be moderated. You Anything that anybody says, you're on your own. Yes, I'm the forum owner. Technically, I have moderation rights, but I don't intend to use them. Okay, what is bothering me about all the forums I see and really all the comment policies I see on the internet is that there's too much policing being done. Okay, how are you going to learn to act like an adult if you aren't in the thick of it? You know, that's what I like about YouTube is that YouTube is really pretty much anything goes and you get a lot of wackos there. But then you learn that there are wackos. Okay? I don't believe in censorship. And just so that you know, I am in the process of re-enabling comments in YouTube because Google has now decided that it was wrong to hook up Google Plus to YouTube and so now you don't have to be a member of Google Plus to comment in YouTube. So I'm gradually re-enabling all the comments on my thousand or so videos in YouTube. In addition to that, because there's, I can't find anything else on the internet doing that, I set up this Frank Forum where, like I said, it is not moderated. That's what makes it different. Okay? You don't have to worry about whether or not some word you're going to use is going to, you know, put your post on moderation. You don't have to worry about whether or not something you write is going to get cast in stone. You have, in each, I've made little categories, but there could be other ones, all right. Um, what's distinguishing about these characteristics or these posts, like this is the Bible Stuff Forum, okay, is A, it's not moderated, and I warn that on every page for all the people who are going to want me to play policeman. I won't do it. But the second reason is, is that like, let's say you wanted to create a topic in Bible contradictions, all right? You're free to do that. Now, I'm not logged in. So that's why it says cannot. But you would be free to do that. You would be free to come back a year from now and edit what you wrote. You would be free to come back a year from now or two or ten if I'm alive <coughs> and delete what you wrote. See, I'm all about freedom. That's the number one thing I'm getting from this God stuff is he's all about freedom. So I wanted to create a forum that's all about freedom. Now there are no ads here either because this is part of my domain. <coughs> if you see an ad, let me know. I mean, I have ad blocker on, so I don't see any ads, but there aren't supposed to be any. So the first thing is, is that you can say whatever you want, and everybody else who comes here can say whatever they want. It is not moderated. Repeat, not moderated. Secondly, you can edit or delete what you say at any time. Okay, the maximum number of character limits apparently in the forum is 60,000 characters, which is about 18 pages. I would not suggest that you have your post be that long because it, people get bored but you could have a really long post if you wanted okay so like I'm gonna log in as brain out to give you an idea of what it looks like okay and I'm gonna have them remember me I could also be hidden all right online if I want and I'm logging in okay now I'm logged in and as you can see 
I've got private messages, notifications. If I click on this triangle, then I get the user control panel, you know, profile and logout. It's the standard format for PHBB forums. It, there's nothing special here. If anything, I'm missing a lot of the special features other sites have. Okay, so this is admin stuff if you want to ask me questions. You know, say, okay, brain out, I got a problem here. And then you can post, okay? Suggestions, you can make them. All right, Bible stuff, computer stuff, God stuff. And I've subdivided it. Like, it doesn't have to be these characteristics. I just wanted to create something. Bible contradictions, King James only, MSS versus translation. If you want, just tell me. You know, back here in admin, hi, Brown, I want you to make another forum and tell me what the title is and I'll make it. Okay? Right in here, this is where you tell me. This is Bible stuff. This is computer stuff. And right now it's only got two categories, Linux and Windows 10. All right? Could have other categories. Just tell me what you want in admin stuff. And then there's God stuff. Now, this is just about God, the person. Does God exist? How many is God? And of course, if you want some other forum, that's fine. This isn't about Christian or Jewish particularly. It's about the fact of God's existence or not. In fact, one of those, there's another topic here. Atheism heads it, but I don't see it, so I must have made a mistake in my topics listing. But atheism will be in here too. That's just about whether God exists and about the nature of God. It has nothing to do with religion. It's a factual question. God exists or doesn't. If God exists, how many and what kind? Okay. Then there's other stuff. And I, it doesn't have to be this. And it's missing some categories. Why is it missing the categories I put? Okay. There's other stuff. Philosophy, politics, religion, and science. And religion is subdivided. Because religion is not the same as the God question. Religion is about how people perceive God. Not about the factual question of whether God exists. So I stuck religion in other stuff. Okay? Then just plain relax. All right. Hello, food, fun, and frolic travel. If you want some other topic to, or, you know, forum category let me know and I'll make it research this is any kind of research you want to park someplace because the limits are so high this I'm a little bit nervous about creating but if you want to sell something park it here but be prepared that people might know about what you're selling and they might not like it and they're gonna be free to say how bad what you're selling is See, because it's all about frankness is the forum. That's what's called frank forum. Okay? That's the whole idea behind this. Freedom of speech. Not moderated. You want to swear? That's going to make you look like a child. Okay? Whenever anybody swears, it makes them look like they can't express themselves. It makes them look like they're a teeny bopper. Okay? You want to do that? Hey, you're on your own. You want to look like an idiot by saying something stupid? Fine, I'm not going to moderate you. I'm not going to censor. I'm not going to moderate. Okay, I'm not going to do it. Now, what I really wanted to focus on was how you join. Okay, so I'm going to log out. So now it's going to go back here. So you got register and log in. Here's what register does. Okay? This I didn't write this. Okay, this is the default wording in PHBB. Alright, yes, I agree. Okay, so you agree to the terms. And then you stick in, you create your own username. This email address has to be a real address. But see, your username can be fake. I don't want to know who you are. I don't want, in fact, I'd prefer that you use a fake name. And I prefer that you create an email address that has no way of proving who you are here. Okay? See, like I can say brain out of your brain out. All right? Make up your username here. Make up your email address there. 
create your own password there, and it can be as little as two characters because it's up to you how secure you want this to be. Okay? Then you confirm your password. The only option for language is British English, so I'm stuck with that. Okay? And I don't know why this is UTC minus America. I, I don't even know where that is. Okay? I'm here. All right, and then you got then the final thing is you got to type in these letters, and I pick something that's really easy to see, and then you type it in, okay, and then you hit submit. Now once you hit submit, I'm not going to do that here because I don't want to create a new user. Once you hit submit, as soon as you hit submit, you will be able to post. You do not have to go to your email account and wait for confirmation. As soon as you register you can post. So you do not have to leave the site and go to your email and wait for an email and confirm and all that garbage. I hate that. You also do not have to provide your birthday. Okay? The whole objective of this thing here, though it makes it unique among forms that I can find, is the frankness. It's not moderated. There are no limits. Okay? except for spammers and stalkers and anti-Semites. I had to draw the line somewhere. And you don't need to furnish your real ID of any kind. Okay? You can post, you can write polls, and you can do it immediately as soon as you register. Okay? Now, the only thing I don't know, and I put it in this how to register post saying the same thing, is if you say, okay, Brainerd, I want out of here. I hate your forum, la di la, whatever. Okay, just email me because there's a way to send me a PM here in the forum. Just let me know and tell me what you want me to delete or change of your username or address or whatever. And I will. I'm, there's a way to do it, but I'm not sure because I've never done it before. Okay, there's also a way for you to change your own username. Because, like, what if you type in the wrong username and that's not the one you want to use? Okay, most forms won't let you make those changes. I think you should be able to. Okay, so that's it. Um, don't expect me to be here and don't expect me to input much. Um, you can send me, you know, PMs, I suppose. But I'm not going to be here a lot. Because the idea is for everybody else to have freedom. What bothers me about all the stuff I do online is that you guys are always hearing from me. But I'm not hearing from you. So this is your free forum to say whatever you want. Bring your friends, not bring your friends. Do say whatever. Call me the great Satan. I don't care. You're free. Frankness is the forum. So it's called... Brainout.net, Frank Forum. Enjoy. Bah. Let me put this right. Let's see. Frank Forum. There you go. There you go. Signing off. All right. This is a little addendum on the styles for the forum. I wasn't able to get the ones I wanted, but I got some. What I wanted were the Art Odia which are made by a guy named Artie. Um, but they don't fit this particular format for PHBB, so the ones I could get that Artie makes, I did. Now here's the basic default, which is ProSilver. You've seen this every time you look at a forum, practically. And then the next one is black, because I know some people like that. I don't like it, but some do. And the reason why it looks so clear here is I've got the zoom on 125. And this is Chrome. I'm looking at it in Chrome. Okay. And some people really like that format. Okay. And I, sometimes I do too. But this is sort of a charcoal brown with, with dark blue. Okay. And I've got it really, you know, pumped up as far as the size goes. Okay. They don't give me the option of, of dictating the font. All right, my I override the fonts in Firefox, but in Chrome you're not allowed to do that. So sometimes it's hit or miss about how easy the font is to read. But this is what the black, this one, black, this is what black looks like. 
Now we've got Digi, which is a version of black, which I don't think is as good, but maybe some people like it. And when you look at the board, well, it's got better, it did that better. See, that's cleaner. So you just hover, and then it tells you what it's about. Okay? And that's kind of neat. Some people would like that probably better. And then when you get into it, like here's a topic. This is a little too reddish for my taste, but some people like that. Okay, and it uses icons, like that's for help or frequently asked questions. You won't be able to get this. That's only for me, administrative control panel and moderator. There's, that would be your user control panel. That would be private messages if you're getting them, any kind of notifications that you've requested, and then that's your logout. And here's your search, okay? And of course, that's your ubiquitous settings gear. <clears throat> and that's how Digi looks. So Digi's got a little bit of, you know, texture to it, okay? And that was that one. So now then the other one after Digi, the one I really like is this one, Latte. Now it doesn't, the default is not this wide. It gets this wide when you use Zoom. See, if I did this, and that's presumably true on the others also, it gets narrower and narrower. So if you wanted to like do that and just have part of your screen show the post, or if you were using mobile, okay, you can just reduce the, the Zoom factor, okay. I don't know why anybody would want to use mobile with this, but some do. It's better than nothing, I guess, if you're waiting in traffic. Okay, so there you go. Now, what's nice about this is, to me, this is easiest on the eyes. I always like a camel and beige background. It's really easy on the eyes. Same options here, same tabs. Okay, and then you've got this stuff. And it, it, you know, see, you hover. It's a nice, it's readable, and it's easy on the eyes. Browns are always easy on the eyes. Okay, so if you're concerned about making something that's easy for people to read, you always want to go with beiges and browns, or, or a, a sort of sagey green, which is what I'm coming to next. The last one is called Simplicity, and that employs green. It's not exactly the green that I like, but I don't know how to how to change the colors yet. That's more sophisticated than I know. I'm just learning PHBB for the first time as far as holding a forum today. All right. I've been writing in PHBB for a long time, but to have a forum in it, I'm I'm not used to that. So I have a lot to learn. This these are the default fonts. The default font is Trebuchet MS. If you don't have that on your computer, you'll probably see something else. But most computers, the newer computers, have it now. And your older fonts, like Windows 98, Trebuchet was there. It's my favorite font. That and uh, Gil Sands and Comic MS. Great readability. So you see, you've got good contrast here. You've got a sort of green that's easy on the eye. And, you know, it's not showing the name Frank Forum up here because it's a template. But still, you know, you've got some nice contrast and it's easy on your, your eyes. Now you say to me, well, Brainer, how come this is brown at the bottom? That's the way I've designed my browser. See, I did my own design for my, my Chrome browser, okay? I, I uploaded my own picture and all that. That's one of the features of Google Chrome, which Edge does not have, which Windows 10 does not have. The same thing is true for Firefox. In Firefox, you can design your own background using New Tab, and I already did videos on this. Okay, and then you can design the actual, all this stuff up here, you can design that by using classic theme restorer and it will let you move stuff around okay so that's what I've done okay 
that's why it looks nice. It's, you know, it really matters if you're using, if you're on the computer for hours and hours and hours. You really need to get your settings right because that way it's more intuitive and easy for you to run and handle. Well, I figured the same thing is going to be true here because if anybody's going to be posting here, once you start doing it, you'll probably get addicted. So I wanted to make it so that you have the easiest time you could and you can pick what theme you want. The default, which is the blue, okay? That's what everybody uses. Then you got one version of black here. And you'll be able to pick this in your, um, let me show you how. You'll be able to pick this yourself. Um, in your user control panel. So let me go back to the beginning so that you see it because it's kind of hard to tell. Because when you first see this, it's not going to look like it does now. This is the default Pro Silver. When you first log in, when you first set up your account, this is what you're going to see. Okay? That's what you see. Board preferences in the user control panel will let you change so all these other things I just showed you. Black we just saw. Digi is a version of black. Latte is a, is a series of easy on the eyes browns. Simplicity is a milk white and a sort of teal green. Okay. Or pro silver which is what you're seeing as a default here. Okay. None of them are going to say Frank Forum. That will only be showing up here in the address bar. But I'm presuming that you'll know that. Okay, so that's how you do it. You set it up in your user control panel after you sign in. Okay, and when you sign out, of course, or if you haven't signed in till yet, you got register and login. And remember, the minute you register, that's when you can start posting. You don't have to wait for an email and validate your account. Okay, because I don't like doing that and I don't want you to have to go through that nonsense either. Plus, the other nonsense you don't have to go through, you don't have to worry about some moderator saying, well, what you said, we don't like it. Honey, if you want to make a fool of yourself, that's your free right. So if somebody's bugging you in the forum, you're going to have to be real mean to them to get them to shut up. Because I'm not going to exclude anybody unless they're stalking, they're spamming, or they're anti-Semitic. Okay? Those are the three things I look out for. The anti-Semites I have to look out for because you're like two steps away from the insane asylum if you're anti-Semitic. Your brain is really gone. I've never met an anti-Semite whose brain worked. And I don't want them infecting the forum. Okay? Spammers and stalkers, obviously I got to get rid of. Other than that, honey, you can say and do anything you want in here. Preferably, you'll act like a human being instead of a beast. But that's up to you. I'm not going to moderate your conduct. So, frankness is the forum. And now you know that you have doom, the ability to hide yourself. And here, in your user control panel, board preferences, you can change to one of four different colors. Well, really, black, a version of black, brown, green, and the default blue. So there you go. Peace out. All right, there's one more thing in this sort of tutorial. As you'll see here, I've changed the setting. Um, I've changed the style based on the PHBB guidelines. Um, I've changed it to simplicity which is this thing right here okay for preferences and I pick simplicity which is what you're seeing but I made one other change and the other change is you'll see right now it says Frank Forum underneath the logo for PHP BB I just added that in um, Microsoft Works which works in Windows 7 through 10 and Microsoft works right here, which is a, you know, 
20 year old product. Okay, I just added the PHP VB logo and I stuck Frank Forum underneath it, which I thought was kind of cool. Okay, the other thing is I wanted to show how you go about editing posts because it, you know, a lot of times these posts are not so clear. I'm the only member, so let's just get me. All right. This is the standard stuff. Okay. The posts, where is it? One post, welcome. Yeah, let's just do that post. Okay. In this, it's a lot clearer to tell the differences between things versus the, the default format of blue and white. But once you get into editing, and that's where the edit key is now, notice how it changes color when you put your mouse over it. The editing, see, this is the editing. Now, of course, this is with the simplicity theme, so it's a lot easier to read than the default blue and white. But what is, what is familiar about it is that you have to write your own BB code now. See, quotes, you can't, the whole thing, you can't just quote, let me go back. If I wanted to, well, I guess I can. There's the top. Ah, here's the quote mark. If I wanted to quote myself, see, it just says quote brain out. This is the plain old BB code. This isn't the new code. The new code is in many ways really messed up. I really don't like a lot of the forums because they have queer rules about how you use quote marks. Okay, so I just prefer to write my own code. This will let you write your own code. Okay, in other words, it's just a, a bracket, plain old bracket. This is the old-fashioned way of doing it. Okay, quote, and then there's the name. And you'll notice that the name has to be in quotes. It doesn't have a timestamp. Okay. But it shouldn't need one in a form this size. This isn't going to be as big as Reddit or something. Okay. And then you have your BB code that you might want to add. Okay. That's adding more quotes. That's the list bullets. Okay. That's the first item in the list, okay? And then the, the typical old-fashioned first-generation BB code is what you got here. And then you can change your font sizes like that. And you can change your font color like that. In other words, this is the old-fashioned method of doing it. This isn't the new one. Because the new one's got a lot of bugs. This is older code, and it's more tried and true. And I'm sure there's a way to fix it to make it newer code, but I don't like the newer code, so I ain't, I ain't fixing it. If you want to argue with me, feel free to do that in admin stuff. And then here are all your little smileys, your typical ones. I know there are other ones that I can create and stick in, but I don't want to learn how to do too much at a time. The idea is to give you guys a place to talk that is freer than you're typically getting. Okay, so I'm not going to take that, so I'm going to just exit. So the idea is to have a place to go where you can talk, and you don't have to worry about somebody looking over your shoulder. You know, I tried to do that in Vimeo, and Vimeo is a good place, but they got limits that I'm sure they have to impose because they got so many people. But this forum has nobody, so it's like you want a quiet place to go. You can go to Frank Forum, and you can decide what you want as your user control panel color. Okay, that being simplicity, this one being black, whenever it's going to go, oh, submit. Now it's going to revert to black, or supposed to. There we go, see? And that shows the name. Or... You want another kind of black, that's digi, digital, just sort of a chocolate black, okay? 
I don't particularly like that. And I can edit this to put Frank Forum in there, but I'm not going to. Not now, anyway. Okay, or if you don't like Digi, then you got Lottie, which I can also edit that one in browns, beige and brown. It's going to take a few minutes. I can edit this, and I probably will edit this to put Frank Forum in it because I like this. I like it. It's very readable. Okay, but if, if you don't like that one, then, then you got Simplicity, which I've already edited. Okay, and that's got Frank Forum in it. So you know what forum you're in. It's got it in two formats, so it jumps. That's kind of cute. Um, or you can just opt for Pro Silver, which will also have the ID in it once it changes, which it's supposed to change now. There we go. Okay, that's it. Signing off.